got a brass band started up in our town. Had a fellow move in town, knew how to play on about everything under the sun, so he got most everybody into it when he count wanted ice giants. I told them I guessed I'd wait a while, kind of see how the thing uh, panned out. They wanted I to play something they called a clarinet. Well, I tried the thing, but land sake, it tickled my lips so I couldn't keep it in my mouth. <laughs> well, I was trying it a little bit easy one day upstairs, and Mariah come up bringing me some salt and water. She thought I was sick to my stomach. <laughs> Well, the uh, band, when they first was organized, they used to play out on the steps of Methodist Meeting House, but the, the community, they got kind of nervous about it. They thought it gives the town bad reputation, you know, folks driving through, strangers, and so they asked them, they got up a petition, asked them if they wouldn't play, why well, it wasn't quite so conspicuous. So after that, they played in Symphony Hall, up over the sawmill. That made it some better. Well, a while ago, the women got up a kind of a baked bean sociable to raise money to buy a new slide trombone for the town clerk, and uh, the band, they played a piece to the sociable. I always supposed to Bonaparte's March they played, but Sile Haskins, he said, to home sweet home. <laughs> but the leader, he said, marching through Georgia, and he ought to know. Well, you see, they, uh, they're going to get up a kind of a pageant, like they call it, out on the common to raise money to buy a new bass drum for the blacksmith. Uh, he uh, hit it so hard, whanging away on that marching to Georgie, the night sociable, they bust a hole right through it, <laughs> so they got to get a new one. I understand they're going to have a new bandstand built right out front of the post office and play every Saturday night while they're waiting for the mail, so I guess they'll have a pretty good time out on it anyway. Got so they can march a little bit now, and so the leader, he got Jock Sullivan, the overseer of the poor, to be the drum major. And he gave him a great long gold-plated broomstick with a croquet ball on top of it and told him to practice with it. Well, Jock took it home, brought it back next day, and said he couldn't find no mouthpiece on it. <laughs> said he'd blowed all over it, but couldn't get no music out of it. Well, the leader told him to swing it around, keep time, so he does that, gets along better now. I'll show you how one of the pieces goes, the band's been learning, goes something like this. <laughs> 